Jackson Mariñez is stepping in for Frank Martin, uh, for, excuse me, Ricardo Nunez, who had to pull out due to an injury. And now replacing him is Jackson Mariñez, who is coming off two losses. He lost to Comey. He lost to Roly Romero. But it's two losses on his resume anyways. And if he takes a third one, that is going to look really bad on, on his career. And it's going to be hard for him to get, like, title shots. Like, he may be lower to journeyman status. So this is a big opportunity for, for Jackson. If he fucks around, knocks this guy out, let's just say, I'm, let's play hypothetical, or even outboxes him and beat him. who Because Jackson can box. Um, That will be a big win for him. Well, I, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. And do I think it's possible? I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not gonna say either way because I'll be honest. I haven't seen enough of Frank Martin to tell you, but I've never been impressed with Frank Martin in the sense. Not that I don't see that he's a talented fighter. He's a talented fighter, but I haven't been like, whoa, that's a prospect, man. Like, damn, that that that. I, I've never had that feeling. And you know, we did see Jackson Mourinho's outbox Roley. He fought aggressively against a puncher and Comey got knocked out in his last fight, but. If we're being honest, he looked impressive in that Roley fight. So if he could bring some of the moves he had in the Roley fight in this fight, and let's just say he was in shape, the he took the fight on two weeks' notice. That that's not good, especially as Dominicans. We get tired as the fight goes on. Dominicans, that's, yo, that's the Dominican curse. I'm gonna call that the Dominican curse. They start winning the first four or five rounds, and then they tired, and then they breathing, and then they wheezing. That's the Dominican curse. We got good boxes, but yo, our strength and conditioning out there, yo, everybody out there got big poppy strength and conditioning coach. 